All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing you're to do uh, is on this large piece of paper, on one side, we are simply going to do ideas for your bridge. You're gonna put your name over here, and here's where you're gonna sketch some ideas. So one of my bridge designs that I'm thinking about building is gonna look like the Warren Truss. And it's got some W's in there. You can see there's a W there and a W there. Another idea that you might have is to do something that is a rectangle <clears throat> divided into four equal sections, something like this might be an idea. Maybe you have an idea to do something like the A truss, although I would warn you that these are a little tough to do with popsicle sticks uh, because of the length, but basically this is where you're just coming up with rough ideas on which one or which ideas that you might build. So rough ideas. Okay. When you have one that you think you like, and I'm gonna go with this one, you're going to flip the paper over, but you're gonna fold it first. So by folding it, it allows us to identify the center. We know that a good bridge is a symmetrical bridge. So there we found the middle of the paper. We're now gonna take our yardstick or a ruler. If, if you got a ruler, you can make it work. But basically we talked about a 12 inch span. Half of 12 is six. So I'm going to put my yardstick with the six inch mark right on this line, right here. And I'm going to make sure the yardstick is straight. So I'm looking at this space along the bottom here. And I'm going to come out to 12 inches. And I'm going to put a little mark from 12 to 13. That's the top of one of the bridge abutments. Then I'm going to come over here to the end. And I'm going to start a mark that has to go out this way, about an inch. These are bridge abutments. They are what is holding up the bridge. I'll just color those in so they're easily seen. And the distance that we have between the bridge abutments is 12 inches. 12 inches and that's also known as the span. 12 inches from one side to the other. Now we can work on laying out exactly how we want our project to look. So we know that the bridge has to sit on top of the abutments, not in between. So we're gonna go on top of these bridge abutments and we're gonna lay out some popsicle sticks just to get an idea of how this is all gonna work. And then I'm gonna draw the bottom beam. Now we said the length of your uh, bridge has to be 13 to 15 inches long. So that's the bottom beam made up of popsicle sticks. We're gonna double check the length here. But if we made a solid beam of popsicle sticks glued together, it would be 14 inches long. That's perfect, that's right between 13 and 15. So you can imagine then that this gets filled in with popsicle sticks, something like this, like this, although we can see we fell short there, so maybe we'll have to spread that gap out, and then we might have to cover with another one like that. So there's our lower cord or lower beam. Now, we then are gonna go up and over. However, if we go up like this and then over at an angle, we realize that the top has to come down depending on this angle. So one of the things I like to do is use a triangle if you have one available. So you can use a 45 degree or a 30, 60, 90. Um, this just helps you get more accurate angles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 45 degree triangle and I'm going to draw some lines. I'm gonna use a pencil actually. I know it's tough to see there on the camera, but I'm gonna draw these lines longer than they need to be. Space them out about the width of a popsicle stick. I'm lining it up along the bottom here just to keep it square. And now I can take a popsicle stick and lay it in there and say, okay, if I'm going to glue that together like that, this is going to end right about there. Okay. 
can flip this over and I can replicate that same thing on this side. Again, symmetry is key. So something like that, again, we'll make it the space of a popsicle stick. Lay a popsicle stick in there. Something like that, okay? Then I can just take a straight line across the top of where I plan on putting my top beam. And this stuff we could erase, because that was just there as a guide. And because it's tough to see, I'll go back and just use my Sharpie here. So we're gonna build that out of some popsicle sticks. And that, and I think you're starting to see the frame of this truss. We're gonna put one in the middle, nice and straight, right down that uh, symmetry line. And then we're gonna put one in between here as well. Again, this is just my idea. You can do it however you want. Uh, this top space is, let's see, about three and a half. Well, half of three inches is one and a half, and half of a half is a quarter. So that would be one and three quarters. So that's about the middle there. Come out the same distance on this side like that. And then from there, I'm gonna drop a vertical popsicle stick. Maybe we're gonna add some triangles, so we can do it however you want. You can do it that way or this way. I'm gonna go right in the middle of this angle and add a popsicle stick in there. There. We'll do something like this here. And now you can see clearly how I'm gonna build this. This seems like quite a big opening here. Maybe I'll take a popsicle stick at an angle. Maybe something like this. I'm just doing my best here to replicate this. I've got an inch of space there. Something like that. So there we have a truss. And that is our design that we're gonna build for this demonstration. All right, what we can also do is get an idea of popsicle sticks here. We know we're gonna use, depending on how we join these together, but at the most, we're gonna use five across the bottom. We're gonna use one there, one there, and that's, I think we're up to seven eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So 18, and I have to make two of these because this bridge has two trusses. So 18 and 18 is 36. That is great because my maximum is 60. So I have plenty of popsicle sticks left to join the two sides together with some kind of structure up top and a load-bearing structure on the bottom. 